It's maybe not the hike style to celebrate like that, but I must admit it was good. I enjoyed it. It was good to see so many of the boys you've not seen for a while uh, and talk about things. Well, talk rugby really, and that's that, that's what made it enjoyable. Well, you were certainly one of the first on the list. I think everyone who entered the competition, um, everybody put Jim Rennick down as the number 13, and it just shows you what people think of you. Well, I think uh, that's that's up to the people that vote, but uh, I know Hike have produced plenty of good players, and uh, it's an honour and a privilege to, to, to have been picked, but there again, it's only someone's opinion. A lot of people's opinion, though. Well, people can... <laughs> see, see, see what they want. It's not everybody's opinion there. It's, but it, it is a, a privilege and, and a pleasure. But it, it's, as I said tonight when I was speaking, that the main privilege was to put on the green jersey, no getting to the best side ever. And I think anybody that's ever played for Roy could have that sort of passion and feeling. You were certainly emotional at the end there. Aye, I'm getting old and I'm, get, I'm getting emotional, especially when I'm speaking about the older days. And uh, so the trick is to stop speaking. <laughs> well, we can't have that. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, sure. Uh, it's time just to let other people do, do the speaking. But just sum up in a few words what this club means to you. I, it, it, I think when it's been part of your life for as long and uh, you were done with your friends playing, you and your mates. It was just a way of life, probably the best days of your life. Uh, just playing here, play, playing rugby, enjoying it on and off, on, on and off the pitch. Uh, it, they were great days. It, it, it was hard work. Derry Grant used to, to hammer us, but we still didn't mind. He didn't mind the hard work when, when you get success.